like in your book, Super Genes, you talk about how every gene has inherent wisdom. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, so in our body, every cell has its own unique dharma or purpose. Your stomach cells, uh, their purpose is to digest food. Your heart cells to pump blood. Your kidneys to get rid of toxins. Mm -hmm. Your brain to regulate everything. So everything in our body has a purpose. But they all come from the same genome. So, you know, the that's called a stem cell in the beginning. One cell becomes over a hundred trillion cells, which is more than all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Wow. And all these cells are doing their own thing, but they're doing their own thing not for themselves. They're doing their own thing to help the integrity of the whole body. A cancer cell, for example, has lost its dharma. It goes on a personal quest for immortality and it ends up destroying the rest of the cells and losing its own identity as well. So this is the wisdom of the body. Unique talent, unique expression, and yet integrity of the whole. So gi giving and receiving, uh, compassion for all the other cells, um, least effort. Cells are not trying to meditate. They're already in that process unless we interfere with stress. So all the seven spiritual laws that I've talked about mm -hmm. in the past, you know, pure potentiality, giving, least effort, uh, intention, desire, uh, non-attachment, dharma, they're all operating in ourselves. In fact, they're all operating in the entire universe. And if we just align ourselves with this basic inherent wisdom in ourselves, we would be healthy all the time. The question people should say, if my cells are so intelligent, why am I not? <laughs> and you know, because we think intelligence... We try to override them, We right? override them, and we think intelligence is information. You know, you go to school and you learn all this stuff. That's all information. And you know, I don't need that. I can Google it these days. What you really need is the wisdom of the body, the inner intelligence of the body, that mirrors the wisdom of the universe. And that's probably why meditation is so successful yeah. in creating a super gene, Correct. because it allows you to quieten your mind in Absolutely. order to listen to the inherent wisdom that the genes are shouting at, at us. And when Absolutely. we're stressed, we can't hear them. And adding yoga and breathing and all only amplifies that. Well, that, that new study is going to be insane. Yeah, when the data comes, it's already coming, which is very I can't wait for you to email me that. Yeah, I will. <laughs>